Northern Elders Forum has urged Northerners that are prone to attacks in the Southeast to return to their state in the North. Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, Director, Publicity and Advocacy, gave the advice in a statement on Monday. The unknown gunmen linked to the indigenous people of Biafra are on rampage across the region as border communities continue to witness bloody conflict. Farmer elders clashes persist with indices, incidences of religious and ethnic profiling. The forum demanded that attacks and killings on northerners and federal government employees and destruction of national assets must stop. Those who have been involved in it must be arrested and prosecuted, the elders demanded. The NEF said until the Igbo decide whether it wants to secede or remain part of Nigeria, the law applies to them. They want federal and state authorities who have responsibility to enforce the law and protect citizens to take action or actions. We support calls for Northerners who are exposed to harassment and violence to consider relocating to the North. NEF asserted. Baba Ahmed said, unlike the postures and complacency of Southeast leaders, all Igbo and other ethnic groups residing in the North should be accorded the usual hospitality and security. The Northern Elders, however, not National Assembly members for being out of touch with the people they are supposed to represent. The NEF told the federal legislature to explore additional avenues that can help redress serious limitations to the federal system before the 2023 elections. They added that it is willing to discuss all matters relating to constitutional amendments and restructuring with the leadership of the country and other groups who see their presence in the future of Nigeria. Hmm. These people, eh? they will be playing victims. Very, very un unfortunate. And that is the price that the southern leaders are paying because you keep quiet. These people will be vomiting what, what is not. And you'll be keeping them quiet. And that's why they will not feel that, uh, oh, what they are saying is true. And which they know that it is not true. We don't know why you guys are keeping quiet. Now, they are now playing the victim victim's card. Okay, be it now, be it known now, uh, not and forever, Igbos are not leaving Nigeria. All they are asking for is equity, fairness, and justice to all. They also toyed and labored to develop this nation. My opinion, God bless Nigeria. Igbo must leave the north. Which equity do you do they need from the northerners? Are Igbos created by northerners for them to demand equity for from them? Let Igbos leave north and from their Igbo Christians uh, and from their Igbo Christian country. There's no way you will be you will get equity or fairness and justice from people you don't share the same ideology with. Let every tribe pathway and form their own states. Eagles welcome visitors more than their own, but a visitor who becomes a killer in Igbo land would not survive in Igbo land. Uh, the truth is this. If the northerners are going back from the east, then the easterners should fo uh, follow suit by leaving the north with urgency because it is dangerous to remain. And if that happens, automatically uh, we signal either war or secession. Empty heads in the southeast would be rejoicing now until the Igbos are sacked to leave the north. Then eyes go clear. What are you talking about? So <laughs> without the north, they cannot do anything. I don't understand. That is what they are praying for. So there's no big deal about it. The north are no longer united against Igbos. And average northerners know knows that Igbos are least of their problem. Millions of northerners are in southeast doing their legitimate businesses on in that. The problem are the killer hessmen in uh, bushes. Thank God they have been flushed out and their menaces has drastically reduced. Really? The wrong narrative is that attack on killer hessmen is equivalent to attack on northerners. We Igbos do sleep, spill, uh, Igbos, uh, we Igbos do spill the blood of the innocent, but we will not allow dangerous people in our forest and farmland. Okay. Okay, maybe he meant to say that the uh, Igbos don't spill the blood of innocent people. See the hypocrisy of North. Nothing has been said about the barbaric killing of farmers, raping, maiming, and killing of women and children in the southeast by the bloodthirsty Fulani headers and Fulani terrorists. Okay, I don't even blame him. 
uh, in the north that gay it is not that gave a cow brain leverage to compete with intellectuals backward elders my carpenter from the north in my village in southeast is not going anywhere go and solve the problem of Boko Haram bandits and Fulani Hesmen. They should also start living in Yoruba land. Hmm. Thanks, to, thanks be to God, I am um, a witness to this great day that is coming. Listen, listen, Nigeria has divided. He or she that has here, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Okay, someone says be divided forever. <laughs> what these uh, brilliant spies uh, need to do is let the Igbos break out of Nigeria. This kind of statement is not good for elderly, elderly uh, spokesman like you. Find way for peace to reign. I don't know the peace where they are they're talking. You are talking of peace to reign. They are telling you their mind. You are forcing them to <laughs> to talk about peace. Hypocrisy. You did not direct the murderous estimate to leave Southeast farms where they destroy farmers sweat, kill them for asking questions and forcefully occupy their land. Northerners are safe in the north. The case of good luck was unfortunate. Please stay where you wish. No, they are not safe. You are one of the IPOP gunmen. We are tired and don't want to be part of Nigeria. So let your lawmakers grant our living. Mr. Man, Northern, Northerners are not contributing anything in Igbo land because none Northern that have a house or industry in Igbo land and Igbo have in the north. The northern people in the north, in the south, can never leave south is because they see the east as their paradise. And several, uh, some of them was kidnapped by Boko Haram and escaped. Some of them, it's true. How would they even go to that place that is where it's terrible? And the problem is that the majority of these people they don't even condemn what these SMA are doing, but in that uh, they are not. Uh, honestly, it is very very. It's not really safe. And that was why a lot of them, they begin to run to the south. They are always running to the south. And you begin to ask yourself, what is in the south that they are looking for? Igbo cannot use Biafra to become president. If they can't play, pol play politics, they are not even interested. Even you that have the presidency, what, what did you gain? They, I don't know whether these people, they, don't, they even know what they are talking about. Some people say, oh, because of oil, they want to uh, bring in some people... Uh, to their side, oh, because of president. What is presidency? You that have the presidency, who will help? Who will help? Unless maybe you are one of the politicians or one of the aides to the politicians who is getting contracts or those who are close to them. But we are talking about the, the and, and what is the percentage of those people? I don't think they are zero, up to 0.1 percent. The people, the main people in the north, what are they gaining with Buari that is there as their life turn around for the better? <laughs> 